my name's Anna and I'm one of the trainers at Mind Apples. And here at Mind Apples, we've been hearing from a lot of people recently saying how the current situation is affecting their mental health and in particular their resilience levels. And I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about resilience and um, what it means, what the definition is, what are the characteristics of resilient people and what are perhaps some of the coping strategies that we can think about to help our resilience levels going forwards. There's an old saying in boxing that I really like, and it's that everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. And I definitely feel like this current situation is a mighty powerful blow from some world heavyweight boxer. So resilience and success in life isn't just about um, achieving your goals, your plans, your ambitions. It's as importantly how you deal with adversity. So how do you feel, how do you deal with the setbacks? Is it that you're able to change course swiftly, go down another route, um, think of a new idea, a new solution, and generally bounce back? And the definition of resilience that we like to use here at Mind Apples is that it's your capacity to maintain um, your own well-being and respond effectively in the face of adversity and setbacks. And resilience isn't about toughening up. It's not about being insensitive to those people around you or lacking empathy um, or being a general brute. It's about being aware of the situation and how it impacts on you and also being able to manage your own emotional state. Psychologists have identified four key characteristics of resilient people. The first one is that they're good with other people around them, so they build good supportive relationships, they know who to ask for help. The second is that they're good at problem solving, so they can come up with new ideas, new solutions, different answers. Thirdly, they have a very strong sense of self, they have confidence in their own abilities that they can actually achieve what they set out to achieve. And finally, they have a real sense of purpose, they have that real sort of inner core belief um, in what they're doing and what drives them. We all have different tolerance levels when it comes to um, adversity and to setbacks. And the good news is that if you aren't born with high resilience levels, there's lots of things that you can do to increase your levels. And we discuss those in some of our other videos and top tip sheets. At one level, resilience is about how we, um, I suppose, aware or sort of, you know, how we appreciate that this situation um, is affecting us and how we respond to it. So we need to ask ourselves two questions. First of all, how is this situation affecting me? And secondly, what can I do about it? And by having this self-awareness, we can better than manage either the situation, so do we focus our attention and energies on the situation per se, or do we need to better manage our feelings and emotions um, with what's going on? There's various different coping strategies as well that can help with our resilience. Um, the foundation, um, which is fundamental to all of this stuff, is having a good level of mental health um, <clears throat> in the first place. So that means having sort of, you know, good exercise, food, nutrition, decent night's sleep. Um, but, you know, really importantly, being able to relax and switch off and lower our, lower our anxiety levels. We need to be able to come up with different um, problems, you know, so being able to talk things through with people and getting another perspective can really help. Um, having people that we can just talk to, even if it's not necessarily to get an answer to what we're sort of facing, but just sometimes just to sort of share things and vent our frustrations and get things off our chest. Um, we might be able to draw strength um, from adversity. Um, you know, there might be some positives that we're gaining. There might be new things that we're learning that we wouldn't have done otherwise. <clears throat> So what you need to do is work out which coping strategy you need and which one is going to work for you. Um, we're all different people. Mm -hmm.